Celebrate <laughs> good times. Come on. Okay. Sarah thought my intro was a bit cringy. Mm, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> we couldn't agree on an intro. We could not. So. But but I was just thinking, this whole summer has been kind of like a celebration, exciting. I mean. <gasps> no, I just thought of it. What? Summer loving <laughs> happened so fast. Um, Yeah, because, you know. Sarah and I were just talking about this. Obviously, obviously, from the title, you'll see what we're talking about. I mean, I'm sure everyone in the Woso world has kind of seen the article, the confirmation, the officialness. Um, but, you know, between the Kristen Tobin officialness and now this and just been celebrations, exciting. We are blessed, aren't and we? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, the Euro celebration for, uh, you know, cel- everything, everything. God. Best summer ever? What? For Beth Mean it is. <laughs> That's true. Um, so how's it going, everyone? That is what the video is going to be about. It's mostly just going to be a Beth Viv video because they they have officially confirmed um, they're, they're lovers. Going strong. So <laughs> all the skeptics can read all about it and see that this is real. Yeah, this is <laughs> very real. What we're going to do, there is a article that beth mead in the times which is a very big respected publication in the uk featuring beth you know kind of talking about the euros kind of talking about a lot of things but also i mean talking about viv and talking about love life love life not just talking about viv but talking about relationships and women's fr- football in general so i mean it was so much talk about that and this is i think this in a lot of ways is a groundbreaking article for a lot of reasons and I, I think Beth is 100% happy to share um, her personal experiences in a lot of things because she seems like an open book. That's actually the first thing I noticed about this interview. Yeah, Beth, love it. Yeah. Beth kind of answers. She seems like such an open book. She seems like she's not shy, almost like a Megan Rapino where ask me, I, I'll either tell you or I won't. There's no. Not apologetically. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is or I won't tell you what it is. It's not, there's not like a you know a gray area it's like but this interview was so open so honest so like a so kind of like a raw feeling interview where she was just ready to answer questions and i was going to end this later in the video but i guess i'll talk about it now beth mead seems like one of those players or one of those people in general who doesn't mind interviews who that public part of being a famous footballer you know it's something she enjoys in she probably a loves it lot, yeah in a good way and like kind of like i'm a professional footballer hell yeah i'm gonna do an interview because we get the opposite side a lot of times of these footballers saying you know I, I they don't mind the media i don't mind answering questions but it's not really what i look forward yeah, to yeah they just want to focus more on the football and beth says hey i'll focus on both <laughs> <laughs> which is also kind of kind of almost kind of funny in regards to Viv seems like the opposite. She seems like she'll answer questions, but that she's not, that's not her favorite part or that's not a part she really enjoys. She just does it, you know, Mm -hmm. because it's part of the job. But Beth really enjoys this part, which I don't think is a bad thing, you know, and I think a lot of times people look at people like a Megan Rapino or like, you know, I kind of, I have that in my head as an attention seeker because they like doing interviews. I mean, the celebrity in her is coming out. Yes. And I'm not mad at it. No. And I think it's a good thing. And I I think you need those types. And Beth is, seems like she is very okay with being a spokesperson for anything you know mm-hmm. that she feels passionate about okay so what we're gonna do that was a lot about Beth but you know she talked about Viv and we're gonna read through some of this article it's such if you it's around I know it's there's a paywall so if you can't get to the article somewhere you'll find it so Beth Mead I play my best football when I'm angry she was the standout star of the Euro 2022 tournament England goal machine Beth Mead tells Jan Mulcairns about life life on and off the pitch so yeah so we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of focus on the viv lesbian parts and then um <laughs> sorry i don't know how to say it a year ago even a couple of months ago if we're being honest people would have walked straight past us in the streets says beth mead the 27 year old standout star of the euro 2022 she of the six goals 
in six games, including the John Barnes were the dribble past Norway's defender in the line in the Lionesses. 8-0 demolition, the same match in which she scored her fourth hat-trick for England in nine months. Today, by contrast, along with the rest of her freshly minted pride of European champions, Maid is suddenly bonafide famous, the toast of a buoyed-up nation high on feminist footballing memes, and finally aware that women can kick a ball around a pitch pretty well, too. On a recent post-Euros holiday to the Greek island of Zakynthos, with her partner, not only were they recognized whenever, wherever they went, endlessly pestered for pictures and autographs, but a stranger surreptitiously paid for their meal on one night. Oh, the perks of being a star. So, yeah, so that's kind of the setup for the article. They're interviewed, they're excited, they're in Greece, but this is where it starts talking about Viv's. Part of the issue, Mead explains, is that said partner is her Arsenal teammate and Dutch international Vivian Miedema, and together they are far more famous than the sum of their parts. You're like the new Posh and Bex, I say. Yeah, she laughs. Of the lesbian world. <laughs> That's like the quote of the interview. Can we the, please get an audio of this? Uh, like, audio God, or, t- or merch that. that says that. I want to um, hear her say those words. I know. Because if you look, I, I mean, it. that is the official statement. It is my partner. She has officially confirmed it words to paper. Uh, and I mean, there it is. Not just that. You know, she says of the lesbian world, you know. Yeah. No. I love when they say things like that because it's almost like people hold back saying things like that. Oh, I'm a lesbian. This is a pretty bold statement. And I think that's so. A, that's a label right there. I think so. Um, so that's official. But in the, in the uh, Posh and Bex, I mean, that is such, you know, okay. such a mind, you know, you have such a mental image about what that means, what mm-hmm. that encompasses, what that means in regards to being famous and people like, you know, she talks about, you know, not making Team GB for the Olympics. She talks about coming up playing with boys as she's when she was a little kid. But then the interviewer asks her a question. They go, given the demands of training, travel, fame, etc., to date another footballer, rather a civilian. So she kind of asked the question, you know, why did another footballer rather than a non footballer? Then, then Beth says, I've dated three footballers, so I don't have a perspective of someone off the, a football pitch. Her, mo- her most recent ex, Danielle Vondedonk, with whom she lived during lockdown, is like Miedema, a Dutch international and former Arsenal teammate now at Lyon. Before Mead, Miedema dated Lisa Evans, who was also at Arsenal, but is now on loan to West Ham. Those changing rooms sound a little, um charged at the end of the day you play football you're professional and you keep work separate says me don't get me wrong you'll take things home and have a little argument every now and then who doesn't but we're good at keeping things separate i guess we'll talk about that for a second because it says right there she's dated three other footballers so she dated i guess viv dan and then another footballer i've kind of heard names floating around but she hasn't really talked about it so you know she's used to dating footballers and she likes it you know and also it says you know it kind of talks about the culture i don't know if that's a good word of kind of this the soccer world or the football world where you know a lot of these people are, are dating each other and dating each other's exes and then beth says right there yeah it is you know it is what it is but we're all professionals at the end of the day you know we yeah, can date each other mm. yeah and that's what we've kind of been saying right you know in our videos like you know it, as awkward as it may be it's really separate you yeah know? So she says, and then she says, you know, we have arguments every now and then, but like, but she said, who doesn't have arguments about any, you know? Okay. She is a mere mortal. Exactly. Uh, she and Miedema talk about football a lot at home. She's a Liverpool fa- She's a Liverpool fan. I'm a Man United fan. So it's not ideal right now, <laughs> she says. Are they competitive? Oh, God, yes. God, yes. So, so what about the fact that they've both been nominated for the Ballon d'Or? Mead laughs. We found out when we were on holiday. I was buzzing. I was like, wow, I'm nominated for the Ballon d'Or, she said. Yeah, it's my fifth time. I'm really proud of you, though. (laughs) Mead rolls her eyes. I was like, Jesus. That is so funny. I can imagine that. I can just imagine Viv doing, saying that. um, Because, you know, it's like a sarcastic, you know, Beth and Viv have this sarcasm with each other. That's like a new level. Because remember when Beth said Viv was plain and it was completely funny, joke, sarcasm. And now Viv is saying, yeah, I've been nominated five times. Congrats, though. (laughs) <laughs> yeah that's so funny i just think it's funny that uh you know beth wants to enjoy it and viv you know it's just that's 
their that's their personalities. She's like, oh yes, my fifth time, no biggie. Yeah, and as long as it doesn't hurt Beth's feelings, she knows it's just jokes. It's all oh, it's all yeah. good. She's still so young. She's twenty six, but she's experienced in these awards and stuff. Mitama was named Mitama was named BBC Woman's Footballer of the Year last year. She'd say something like, I don't really want this trophy in my house. I'd reply with, you sound ungrateful. She's not. She is a very humble person, but she sounds so arrogant sometimes, <laughs> says Mead with fond amusement. But we'll keep each other grounded, I'm sure. Yeah, and that's exactly. They can kind of just, you know, joke or... But it sounds like how you say almost take the piss out of each other. Yeah. Yeah. Like where they're just having fun. But also, I think Viv does have that reputation of sounding arrogant or doing things... Beth is just explaining she might come across like that. A, she's not. But B, even if she had that tone, I know what she means. I know what she's saying. I get her. Yeah, you know? she's just chill like that. Yeah, exactly. She's saying she's not arrogant. That's just the way she kind of says things. Okay, so now here is a little bit just talking about kind of league in general about people having female partners. There's only one openly gay male player in the top four English divisions, Blackpool FC's Jack Daniel. Jake Daniels. In the women's game, the picture is infinitely more progressive. Among the Lionesses alone, Jill Scott, who this week was an, has announced her retirement, Lauren Hemp, Rachel Daly, Katie Harrington, Bethany England, Jess Carter, and Fran Kirby are all openly dating, engaged, or married to women. Hemp, Daly, Hemp, Daly, Carter, and England are all dating fellow footballers. It's the norm in the women's game, says Mead. From day one in women's football, we made it normal. We've not made it a big deal. In the women's game, she says, there's no coming out declaration. You're just being you. Where it seems to have to be announced in the men's game. Some of the boys that are big respect to them for doing it, but that shouldn't be the way it is. Yeah, and I think that's a, you know, that theme kind of goes with men's sports. I think you can't be masculine and you can't be tough and you can't be all these, all these things that are stereotypical male. You can't be gay and those things. And for some reason, a male's football, it's like you can't be those things together, which I think is disturbing that you people think you can't be. Listen, boys, you can be anything you want to <laughs> be, okay? Yeah, yeah. And she's just saying, you know, in women's football, it's not like that. But I always kind of use the comparison to, like, men's musical theater. There's a lot of gay men in musical theater, and a lot of them are open about it, because that's a stereotype we've put on society. Oh, men can be mm. gay in musical theater, but they can't be gay in sports, because if you're gay in sports, that means you're wimpy, or you're checking out other males, or all this stupid stuff. Um, yeah. But hopefully the men's sports get there one day. The thing, but she says right there, he's her and Viv, official, a couple, and it is, they're happy. And, Lesbians. Yeah. Sorry. And I mean, I think a lot of people are saying, wow, only after a few months of uh, them being in long-term relationships with other people, they're being so public about it. Like, some say maybe estimates of like four months they've officially been together, but, uh, but now we're doing such a public display of affection no. yes um declaration if you will yeah um so for her to just be so open about this kind of newer relationship a lot of times people want to test the waters for maybe a, a few, six eight t ten months and then kind of say okay we're ready we're past that honeymoon phase we're here for hard launches yeah that's all i'm saying <laughs> hard launches and kind of not to be afraid to be like we are here we're gonna be public Life is just so, so full of rich experiences, and life is so short. I don't know why I'm being so wise. I'm actually not. <laughs> um, that it's just like, do your own thing. Show off what you want to show off. Yeah, <laughs> because, you know, Viv, her and Lisa were pretty open about their relationship, um, and they were just like, yeah, we're in a relationship. It's not a big deal to us that, you know, and they, they have been in a relationship for so long. Also, Beth was uh, in a relationship and wasn't quite as public as she is now. And that was like kind of Dan and Beth's journey a little bit, which was a little bit different, but not different in a bad way, just different. And for now, Viv and Beth to both be like, you know, even if it, say it didn't work out, well, it didn't work out for us, but we're still professionals, but they're just going for it. And I also think the publicity that Beth or Viv might get isn't a bad thing. Can you make more money off of this? Can you make get more endorsements off of this? Yes, yes, yes. Because back in the day, you came out in a lesbian relationship. It's almost like the endorsements were the opposite way. No, they take them away. Now it's just Ugh. like, go for it because there's only positive, there's more positives than anything that can come from it. And um, I think it's so cool. I'm so excited for them.
Um, so one interesting thing that happened today was this interview came out and then Viv posted some pictures on Instagram. Oh. Okay, so if we go on Viv's Instagram, she posted. So we talked about yesterday during the video about Leah and Jordan, we talked about that Emma Mitchell had a wedding and we didn't post any pictures because I didn't know exactly what was officially posted to anyone's social media, but Viv officially posted some pictures from Emma Mitchell's wedding and some exciting pictures. Um, first of all, you got a group there. And I mean, obviously the first thing that pops up is Viv right in the middle, you know, teammates, friends right there. But who do we see right next to Viv? Lisa. We see Lisa. And also two things about this. Viv's holding a bouquet. Is Viv, did Viv catch the bouquet? Oh, I thought you were going to say, did Viv get married as well? <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. <laughs> did Viv catch the bouquet? Or I'm somebody guessing. said that Lisa was a bridesmaid, so she was carrying Lisa's bouquet while Lisa was holding her glass of champagne. That could mm, also could've happen. Been. Could've been. Um, but if she caught the, the bouquet, I mean, is this a little, you know, hey, tell the world we're in a relationship fast and now getting married fast. No. Why not? <laughs> no, I know. I always used to fight fight people at weddings for bouquets oh yeah you did you did oh tackle people man right then we have then she posted actually a picture of emma and her husband cutting the cake so <gasps> freaking cute look at that cake. cake then another picture of viv beth and kim little then another picture of, and, yeah. and then another picture at the very end of their table and then you see lisa right in front as well um and then i don't know who's sitting next to lisa but she has her hand on her lap so i thought that was interesting too um <laughs> and she was sh the shorter one in the group just like me yeah. what an honor <laughs> so Represent. i don't know what's i'm not quite sure who that individual is and i don't know if there's anything going on lisa but we'll do another video if some we get details no 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 but you know i just think it's interesting so many things are interesting about these pictures when she posted them on the same day that beth had the article come out but then also you know lisa's in these pictures and i think that's one thing that I think it's one thing that just shows their friends. It's cool. Could it be awkward at one point? Possibly, but they've moved on. Is it kind of, is it kind of awkward? And this is just like a personal statement. Is it kind of awkward? My ex is now with my friend who we were all together friends and that whole situation is a little bit awkward. Let me tell you this. <laughs> it's awkward if you make it awkward. Okay. And yeah. I don't think if, if you don't make it awkward, then it's not awkward. Yeah, because I think that, A, we've talked about this. It's not uncommon in the lesbian world, number one. Mm -hmm. But number two, it's kind of like, you know, I see a lot of things, even if it were awkward and even if feelings are hurt, I don't think pe Lisa would want, I think she just want people to be like, hey, let's not, everything's cool. You know what I mean? Lisa probably wouldn't want the attention about all that. She's just like, you know, let me just move on if it were to be awkward. Is it awkward? <laughs> no, you're right. If they don't make it awkward, it's awkward. You know, at the end of the day, I'm sure everyone in that scenario just wants everyone to be happy so they can move on to be, if they're not together, with their new partner and have a new happiness, you know, a new phase of their life. Mm -hmm. And in the um, comment section, Beth says stunner. I thought it was interesting that she posted those pictures the same Love day. It. And the pictures have Lisa. And it just, it just looks like everyone wants the best for everyone. Yeah, it's probably to show everyone low-key show everyone yeah low-key hey, we're good we're fine yeah. because in this picture the one of beth and the one of viv and lisa viv and lisa didn't have to stand next, next to each other you know exactly. they, but i think i don't know if they chose to stand next to each other but viv posted that picture knowing we're standing next to each other no it'd be so much more awkward if they're like uh yeah we can't stand next to each other <laughs> um everybody move um but you know person. you know what's funny though even if that were to be true that wouldn't be that would be very relatable as well you know, I mean, both situations can be relatable, yeah, right. you know, but exciting, exciting stuff. You know, what a, what a summer. What a summer. I never was expecting any of this. And I was just rewatching my first our first Viv and Beth video about actually I was watching the one where like they're just pals. They're just hanging out. They're just hope oh, they're a little bit more than that. <laughs> and I still don't know what Arsenal knew or didn't know when they started posting those kind of wild things. Honestly, I that's the one Thing. i don't know if i'll ever know okay well now they definitely know <laughs> yeah. um i think um, right and so now will they be posting content yeah or will they not that's an interesting part this is the question because how Keep beth out. the in the video goes it's just don't mix the business with the pleasure you know or we, we're professional it's interesting if arsenal just kind of shy away from that aspect or if they kind of 
get into it because you know it's exciting for the fans the fans love it we're fans and it's exciting for the fans we'll see what goes on but super exciting i just love how open and honest and you know it seems like you asked Viv. you seems like you asked beth a question she's really, she's ready for it you know answer it but it doesn't seem like um she's shying away of any of this and i think she's enjoying it and i don't think that's a bad thing yeah love it that's why you love win it. the euros to be able to enjoy the Things that go along with it, the interviews, the dresses, the Ooh, how chic being wined and dined, you know, Ooh. I think who wouldn't enjoy that yeah, from those people who bought their dinner? Yeah, for exactly. <laughs> for people. Yeah, she's like, hell yeah. <laughs> everyone looks happy. I think it's super exciting. What does everyone think? Um, <laughs> super excited. Emma's Emma, Emma's wedding looked beautiful. And beautiful. Who doesn't love a good wedding? <laughs> Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.